What's going on, my peoples? May pips be upon you. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little different tonight. I'm just gonna go through all these uh, these pairs really quickly, just to see what might be setting up. This is the last day of the week, and uh, London is now opening, and uh, uh, I want to just briefly go through this with you, and. Uh, you know, like a, a like a huddle, a huddle before uh, we get uh, we get started looking for trades. All right, let's start with gold. All right, uh, gold. Uh, I, I just want to make sure you understand that I'm looking primarily on the four hour time frame. So, because I'm kind of looking for some interday in, intraday trades, and um, hoping that if we get them to them now by before. Uh, New York ends, uh, we should be where we're at, where we need to be. We should be well in profit. And if we can make decisions whether to, uh, to hold them over the weekend or not, I'm not gonna try and hold anything if I if I can help it. Uh, but, uh, you know, with some exceptions, I might. Let's check our goal, all right? We can see on the higher time frames that goal is still operating inside this ascending channel, right? And, uh, or bull, bull flag, all right? We see how how it uh, responded here at the, the bottom here, making nice uh, nice leaps up, all right? And you can tell that this is a, a 618 fib and uh, we got another one here, all right? And you see the bullish reaction to when I put this magic trend line uh, up on it. And you see the bullish reaction here. Now, taking a closer look, we, we can see that we're at a point where, let me get something to write with, where we're right up, up against good uh, resistance that's been, been tested a number of times. All right, and that, that level is at uh, 1741. All right, 1741. So uh, we need a break and a close above here. And then we can get involved in some longs, a break and a close above here. And we can start looking for setups to take longs. All right. And we can go down to the lo lower time frames. Excuse me. Come on, man. Come on. Uh, I, I don't believe I just did that twice. All right. We go down to the lower time frames. Let's see about an hour. See, on the hour, you can see uh, that this one opened bullishly as well. All right, and we might with this next this next this is a new candle, so it'll close in about fifty one minutes. Uh, let's go to the smaller time for uh, another time frame down, and we see that we're probably getting ready to get set for a pullback. So let's get the fib from the beginning of the impulse to the end of it, and let's see. Look the. Uh, 50 EMA is right at that six, 618. So let's look for something here in case it happens. We, we, we just want to get some scenarios going here and then up. Okay. Otherwise, we would look for something like this. Hold. Oh. I don't believe that thing's still there. <laughs> resilient oh uh, we look for something like this and then okay Damn, did i just do that i can't get it right today all right we we'll look for something like this and that, that'll that'll be all she wrote so something down maybe and up or we'll wait for this candle to break these highs and close above it, and then we can get involved in some longs. All right, and we'll take those longs. This will be your first TP, and the next TP uh, would would be to the uh, 
to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The resistance. So we, we might be looking something like this. I'm not gonna do this with every one of them. I don't wanna hold that much time on it. Might be looking at something like, something like that. Uh, yeah, make sure you're protecting your stop loss. Let it have some structure to, to uh, for price to run into before uh, uh, it gets to the stop loss, okay? Get, you, get it under your EMA, all right? And uh, we might be looking at something like that or something like this, okay? And we can get a nice two to one, uh, a one to two uh, risk reward ratio on that one. Okay, let's go to the next pair. Let's look at the dollar. All right, I, got some, I, I, I wrote some notes for our at resistance. That's right, it, it was at resistance. Understand, I put these notes on here about two hours ago, maybe three, uh, right, after, right around midnight my time, uh, Eastern Standard. So uh, things have moved, moved a little bit. And doggone it, uh, I had, um, I had the Dixie when this candle was a little shorter, when it was up here and I said, oh, it's heading towards, it's, at, it's right at resistance. So this will be a good time to take a short. All right, it is a good time to take a short. Look at that bearish engulfing. Doggone it, missed, uh, missed a good uh, entry here. So we go down to the 15, we see how it hit and we see how it reacted, came back up broke structure, oh man, and you know, and it came back for the retest and then came back down. Now we're probably gonna get a retest here at that low, at that previous low, if that's not happening. That'll be your, your, your entry to get in right here. I didn't mean to do that. Um, right here. This is it. And we just missed that one, but it's not too late. The candle's not closed yet. We got two minutes and 41 seconds before that one closes, but this is the entry for short. And I would suggest it looks something like this. This will be right here should be your TP1. Right here should be your TP1, all right? But we want it, this is uh, the, the dollar, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this will be a good a good TP right here. And you want your, I want at least two. Let's see, can we get, this would be a great TP2. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot actually, all right, now. This may go up and test here. Price may go up and test here. You know, price is looking for structure. So the way you uh, find a good entry is to do this number here. Put them fibs on and you'll see, you'll see uh, price is going up to the 618. The golden ratio, that's where you want it, right there. You will like those those uh, those pullbacks. So this is a grand time to look for an entry. I'm hoping that uh, you get this. Uh, look look and see how it reacts once it hits that level, though. Okay, but we're right here right now. We're right here right. Now. <laughs> uh, so we're right here. We're here right now. See how price reacts here, all right? But I suspect that we may go here, all right? You wanna put your, uh, you you wanna make sure you get a confirmation. Uh, see how price reacts at these levels. And if it gives you a double top or and a bearish engulfing going down to the five minute, you know, you, want, you wanna see these rejections from these levels you know, and it looks like it's gonna go up here. All right, you wanna see rejections from this level, 
This is level at least two rejections, maybe, and uh, a, a bearish engulfing, and then you want to get involved. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. I like that. I like that dollar index. Uh, Aussie CAD. Oh boy. Let's go to the four hour. I was involved in an Aussie CAD. You saw my video on it. Uh, and price kind of juked me a little bit. Uh, I got involved here. I got involved here. Price went up, came down exactly where I thought it would come, got me in. Um, let's see. It went up, came down, and then went up. Oh, oh man, it dipped, it just whipsawed. Came up here, then it went down, it, it, down in the uh, drawdown. I was a little upset. I was like, dang, man, we almost got one to one. And then it came back and then it opened up here. I got the one to one here. I took some profits here, which was great. And then it did this. All right. Once I, once I, once it gets the one to one and I take profits, I move my stop to break even. This is something I do sometimes. Other times I, I, I manage a different way, but. I'll go through it when I when I go through it, and uh, so I got I, I got tapped out here, all right. Then it opened, went down deeper in the uh, drawdown, and now it's doing this. It might break these highs and go all the way up. So it, you you decide is amongst you <laughs> you decide yourself whether you want to get involved with it or not. Uh, it's it's banging off of this. Uh, uh, you know, you can see how these wicks, these rejection wicks are from this level. This is a pretty strong level. It's pretty resilient. We're under the 50 EMA though. So bear that in mind. However, we are on the other side of this magic trend line. And uh, so far it is holding. So you wanna, uh, it, we're at support. So we had a, a very strong support, so. Uh, Let's see, you, you know, you, you make a decision whether you want to do it or not. Once I hit the break even and it goes, it hits it a couple of times actually. So I was like, eh, I don't think I'll get, in, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get involved in this again on a Friday. You know, that uh, I'll just look for another trade. You know what I mean? All right, so the next one. Uh, pound yen. You see how it hit? You can see uh, pretty clearly uh, that looks like a head and shoulders situation and I pointed that out to those that uh, watch my videos all right and uh, we are look at this on it we are at heading to support it hit support dog on it because I, I called it around here it hit support. This was supposed to be the dog. I'm just late getting stuff out. I'm sorry. I had to sleep. I'm sorry. Uh, this was supposed to be your entry here. It's supposed to look something like this to give you at least a three, three to one, oh, one to three risk reward ratio. All right. Now, what you what you can do, just like uh, with the first pair, uh, the you just look for a way to get back in, all right? And you catch a back, uh, 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 a pullback, right? All right, oh, it would have been a perfect entry. Gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. I let you down, my bad. All right, so we got a nice impulse. So the, uh, the entry is going to be uh, coming. It'll be coming soon. All right, look, look here at the uh 382 and because i think that's the most likely but be prepared for it to come down and test the 618 the golden ratio but i think it's going to come here and this is where you can get your get your uh your entry so that would look something like something like that all right just be prepared because you got structure there you got structure there be prepared, be, be flexible, just be ready. Okay. All right. But that, that, this, if you uh, keep your uh, stop loss below this wick, 
I think you should be good to go. I keep it here because it might want to come back and test this uh, support. I keep it here and you'll get plenty of three to four, uh, 3.43. All right, one to 3.43. That'd be a, a lovely uh, way to end the week, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's go to uh, Euro USD. What's my notes on it? Uh, come on, man. Oh, coming to support. Oh boy, I hope I didn't get you late again. Okay. Yeah. Now see, it did a turn. It turned around on me. Look, look where. Well, look where it turned though. That's a good a good level. That is a, a, a really good level here. So I'm looking here. All right, and price is responding pretty good here. So what do we do? This was a, a really deep pullback, all right? But it didn't go all the way to, it went past the area I designated for, but this is a, oh man, look at this. It's right in front of me, man. This is a, uh, an area of demand, all right? And it went to the halfway part, the halfway mark. This is an excellent uh, way to get in. Now, what you wanna do, this this demand, once it hits this demand, it's gonna go up to the nearest uh, supplier, area of supply. And on the four hour, that would be up here. All right, so this is, what, this is where you want to target. You want to get in here somehow, some way, and target these highs. All right, at least halfway into this uh, this zone, uh, supply zone. Okay, so now you now your task is find an entry here, the exact same way I just dis, uh, described to you uh, with the other pairs. Look for the pullback. Look, and it's pulling back right now. I'm gonna do it one more time with you. Go to the 15 minute. Let's see. All right. It already pulled back. This was the pullback. This was the pullback. It already pulled back. So what you wanna do is wait for this candle to close. Wait for the 15 minute candle to close, which is in seven minutes. And make sure that it closes above these highs. All right. If it does that, there's a high prob a high a high probability that price will continue to the upside. Okay. Uh, I put my stop loss right above here. If you want to be extra safe, you put it down here. But here would be good. We're coming off support, so that's why I like this this trade. All right. We're coming off this support, and this is a like I told you before, a demand zone. It's a good one too. So I uh, had a good reaction. So I'm hoping that the strength of it will take us on up. This, this area here concerns me because it's used both as uh, uh, resistance and ooh, it goes back a ways. This is a pretty, gonna be pretty strong. I'm, I'm you know, this, this, this one we might've missed. We missed this entry. Scratch that. Let, it get a, let, we, let us get a break and a close above this high, above this level. A break and a close above this level and we can keep our stop loss down here and you can still get a nice uh, risk to reward for this trade at 245, uh, one to 245, it's one to two and a half. Come on, man, can't complain about that. Adjust your uh, stop loss accordingly, but you wait, you wait for a break and a close above that line. Do you understand? All right. Why did I? Why did I do that? Hold on. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Aussie dollar. All right. What do we got here? I need some. I need to take a sip of my tea. My voice is starting to go. Okay. All right, this one had the uh, the head and shoulders, and I pointed it out in my uh, my Aussie video on the seventeenth, 
and it played out perfectly. And it, I mean, this was the shortest time it took to hit TP perfectly. Uh, uh, congratulations to those that hung around for that. But I noted that uh, Price was coming to the support again, right? But it didn't quite make it. It's doing what the last pair did. What do we got here? What is that? Tell me. I don't hear you. Yes, that's a demand zone. All right. A, a nice, strong demand zone. See how, how price jumped out of here the last time I was here? So we expect an, a reaction like this. Look for the entry somewhere around here. Keep it below that. Uh, uh, keep it below the uh, a wick, either here or here. You, want, you, you like seeing that wick of rejection at this level because it means that price doesn't want to go past that, <laughs> right? So look for your wick of rejection there and you'll get at least a two, two to one, which is, which is awesome. You get at least a two to one over here. Just look for your entry here the same way. Go to the smaller time frames. look for uh, a, a pullback and make sure you get some confirmation, okay? I'm going as fast as I can. New Zealand, I hear you back there complaining. I need a sip, I need a sip. I got some green tea, hold on. Uh, okay, all right. Now, what was my notes on New Zealand dollar? All right, at support, yeah, man, I, I'm sorry, man. You can't sleep around here. I gotta get this done earlier. It reacted exactly as I thought it would. Folks, just try and get your, your uh, entry in here. It's on impulse right now, and you want to target these highs, really. All right, get, come, to, come to this, res, this, um, this resistance. Come to this resistance, and uh, uh, you should be good to go. Hopefully, it'll give us a pullback. All right, I want to see what it looks like on the smaller time frame. Yeah, it, it's going hard, man. Oh, man. I wish I would have got here a little sooner. Gave a W here. This was it. Yeah, it this it gave the pullback and another pullback. Maybe right here is where you'll get your next pullback in this area. Where it's at right now, because of these rejection wicks here. So I'm hoping that we get some rejection soon and we can get an entry, okay? Put your stop loss below structure and you should get at least 2.31. Uh, one to 2.31, that's great, that's great, all right? New Zealand dollar Swiss. Let's go to the four hour. Well, I got so many things happening over here. All right. We're at support again. God dog it. Look at this man. Oh, we got a chance on this one. All right. Same thing. See the support here. All right. You want to target the uh the the highs here. And it's that simple. Folks, I, I try to I try to keep things simple because when things are simple, good things happen. You see this uh equilateral triangle, right? This wedge, this pennant, whatever you want to call it, you know, that, that's a good thing to see. Because you see it's broke, is it broke out from here, leaked out. All right. Hit the hit the support and then bounced. This is a powerful support. A powerful support. Uh this is actually a demand zone that extends that I would draw this way. All right. And you see it didn't close past the halfway mark. So I'm expecting some a bullish uh, uh, reaction out of here. And uh, because it, it price busted out of here strongly the last time. So I'm hoping that that happened again this time. Okay, so you got your entry, you got your your mission on that one. Whoo, we got a long list. I might cut it here. 
I might cut it soon. All right. Instead of me looking at uh, MZ CAG, I want to, you know, I don't want to make this thing too long. All right. Uh, looks like a show of strength. Okay. You see what happens here on the uh, USD Swiss? All right. Price did went all the way up to the resistance, not quite reaching it, almost very close. But then we looked for the retrace, measured it with the fibs, and it hit the 6, 618 uh, fib here, had a bullish re reaction uh, you know, a rejection, but it's filled that wick. So now we're in the middle of the range. I would not suggest an entry in the middle of the range. All right, the actual trade would have been up here to take the short around here to to uh, to target the support here. But uh, this is this is a this is something that I, I wouldn't suggest you get into. You know, if you if you want to, you do you do you. All right, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, let's see, EJ is a popular one. All right, we are at, what's my notes on here? Oh man, I don't have no notes on EJ. All right, well, it's obvious. It's obvious, you can see that we're, we're in this trading range. All right, it hit the support. And uh, what you wanna do is see, see, uh, uh, you see this, this line here that, uh, that concerns me. Let's go to the one hour. Let's take a closer look at that. I want to make sure that's not a big deal. We had a rejection there. We see that big rejection here. All right. If you're going to enter this, all right, we're getting the rejections on the bottom here. One, two. I would love a, a, a bullish engulfing here. And you want to get your entry from up here. Once it, once it clears that, all right, you don't want, you want to see a break and close above that above that line. Keep your uh, stop loss down here and that should be your entry. All right, break and close above here because I don't trust this, this rejection area. All right, look for uh, a rejection and uh, bullish and engulfing. Okay, uh, did I do? Let me do a GK. Okay, what we got here? What's my notes? Do I have notes? No notes, I, I did it again. Okay, well, apparently I didn't mark the support area. Hmm. Let me see here. This looks like about right. All right, all right. Now, you see, we're the price is showing strength. It made this W, you know I love my Ws, right? And it's an extended W. And when you have an extended W, you wanna see it come back with the Fibonacci retracement. You wanna see price come back at least to the 382. And at that point, you would expect it to continue to the upside, okay? So we might get a test of this neckline. We might because of where it's at, but you want to see a retracement of at least to the 382. Let's make sure. That, well, look at that. See that came all the way back to the 382 right at this line. This is perfect. So from here, you have an entry. You have an entry. I think it's gonna to go to the next uh, support, which would give you 2.65 or one to 2.65 risk to reward. All right. Now be wary, there is the uh, uh, 50 EMA here. All right, maybe waiting for a break and close above that might be wise, but uh, for the more aggressive types, uh, make sure your stop loss is below the wick and you want to target the next uh, 
line of resistance. All right, try and get you, try and make sure you get at least two, a two to one, oh, a one to two, excuse me, one to two risk reward, okay? If you can't, you can't. 186 ain't bad either, but uh, I, 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 I don't like to take trades below two, uh, one to two, but I will take them as long as it's above one to one. So you can play the probabilities. But I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. The more I'm talking, I want to see do we crack? All right. Hmm. That is a trend line, which is a, a very good friend of mine. All right. I'm wondering if we're going to run into trouble once we hit that. So bear that in mind. Make uh, you know, if, you know, bear this this uh, trend line in mind because it means something when price is respecting that one horizontal line of resistance. So, you know, price could very well do this number. Oh man! Price could very well do this number and play in this range. Right, so you see how it's how much time it's spent at this level before. Those are the things to consider. I'm going to end it here. You know, we got a bunch of things to go through. Matter of fact, I'm going to do one more. Uh, let's do oil. I've never shared an oil uh, situation with you. All right, prices at support. I got a trend line. The whole nine. Those those are my notes. All right. Huh, I got a Fibonacci retracement from here to this move from from the swing high to the swing low. All right, I got price with a possible retracement. We're at support now. God, dog it. We're at support, and we got the kind of rejections I would look for. This is not a bad entry. This is not a bad entry at all to take price back up to the, that is so wrong, uh, to take price back up. You didn't see that. To take price back up to the uh, resistance here. Well, why am I picking that resistance? Because it's at the 50%. It's at 50%. Oh, gun it. All right, we see the 50% fib retracement here, all right? It could possibly go to the uh, 382. Be prepared for that. Make that your uh, TP1. But what I'm looking for is it going up here to test this, this previous low, this structural low, and which was also used as resistance, all right, uh, from before. So this would be an excellent, an excellent location to look for a retracement and then you can come back down from there, take a short from here and take that back down. You can double dip on gold on, on oil going both ways, targeting this, uh, the uh, support. Oh, that, I, I'm glad we ended on that one. Uh, I want you all to be happy for the weekend. All right. And I want you all to have a happy time trading.